Hi everyone, I hope you're all well and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We are going to continue on with this X-Ray build that we kicked off with last week on the channel. If you've missed any of the games so far from this team, do go back up here. I'll link a card for you. You can check out all of the games before coming into this one. And there has been some cracking games the last two weeks with this team. So hopefully it continues. Got two more days left with the team before we move on to a new team next week. So I hope you've been enjoying it. I definitely have. Just to recap the team. We've got the Mega Requires of the Xerneas, the Lander Theory, and we've got the Tapu Fini, Incineroar, and that Serena. So let's, without further ado, get straight into it. And if you enjoy this content, guys, make sure to drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content, and make sure to leave your comments down in the comment section below, just in general on anything, on what you've been enjoying about the Ultra Series, about this team, about the matches that we face, about what your hopes are for the rest of the Ultra Series, anything. I love hearing from you all, and uh, I will make sure to get back to each and every one of you as soon as possible. We'll kick off with League Title Defense. And we'll move into this screen because I always forget to do this when I'm recording. So here we go. There's the bottom screen. And we've got John from Florida as our first opponent. So hopping in with John and we'll move over to team preview. So here we go. Right. John is running a team of Dawnwings, Necrozma, Tapulele, Kyogre, Aselgo. Oh, oh. Uh, Amoongus and that Charizard. Ah, oh, that's tasty. That is spicy, isn't it? I wonder if it's Charizard X, because Charizard Y doesn't make too much sense in this format, but Charizard X still has a lot of utility here. Um, it would be interesting to see. We've got the Acelgo, obviously. It's going to have the Unburden with the Psychic Seed, so it's going to be faster than anything on the field. We've got to be very careful for it, because it can Acid Spray. It can do all sorts of shenanigans, and we don't want to have to really contend with it too much. It's going to be very difficult to deal with for sure. Um, I think the sash on our Rayquaza helps out a lot. Um, oh, how, how do we do this? How do we do this? I think Incineroar is very good for us here. Obviously, we need to be careful with the Kyogre. Um, maybe bring Rayquaza. Tapu Fini. Maybe Rayquaza in the back, actually. Tapu Fini up front to override the terrain for sure. And then we've got the terrain kind of control against the Amoongus for later on in the game. Um, other than that, Xerneas is going to be very good and Rayquaza again is going to be excellent. So I think we'll lock in with those and we'll jump straight into it and get into this first one today. Ah, I don't like facing a cell goal. It's one of those Pokemon. Final Gambit, Uncall, all the, all the stuff that you just don't want to face down against. It's just a nasty Pokemon that does so much work. And there's some players that just have a knack of playing it so well that make it so difficult to set up against. But we'll see what we can do against John. He is piloting this, so we're going to see the Incineroar type of Finny come out for ourselves. And the Aselgo Charizard. Wow, okay. Now this is quite interesting because what my opponent is probably doing here is is having the Tapu Lele as a switch in to protect that that Selgo this first turn um, to overwrite our terrain. But one of the things we can potentially do is Icy Wind and Flare Blitz into the Selgo here. We've got the Intimidate onto the Charizard, so I don't really worry about that too much. Um, and I am just going to go for oh, I mean one of the other things we could potentially do is switch out our Finny. Mm, the Icy Wind's going to be so good though, isn't it? And Flare Blitzing into the Asalgo is just too tempting. I'm going to Icy Wind. I'm going to do it. Because I see the, the Lele coming in all day long on that Charizard slot. Let's see what they do. Are they going to do it? They might not either. They may not. There it is. Here's the Lele. Tapu do Lele. Get rid of this, this, the, the scarf that it's holding on, which is the big thing. We might see the Asalgo just protect here. That might be something that it does. There's the, the Psychic Seed boost. Oh, it's gone. Final Gambit. Huh. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I don't like that we've lost Finny, though. So freely. But, I mean, getting rid of the Acel goal is fine, isn't it? Um, we do get rid of... Oh, we do nice chunk to the Lele. As well. Hmm... Okay, let's bring in Rayquaza. Do we bring in Rayquaza? Yeah, let's bring in Ray. Because Kyogre might come in there now. Could be Charizard coming back in, for sure. Oh, it's Necrozma. Hmm, interesting. Earth power. 
the psychic terrain as well. Oh, this gets horrible now, doesn't it? <laughs> this is awful. Uh, at least we know it's a Charizard in the back as well, so that's that's a plus. But Earth Power Moonblast probably takes down the Incineroar. Um, hmm. Do I just double their Mega Evolve Sword Stance? I can't really make use of the Extreme Speed. We we'll probably go down to whatever Lele throws out at us. So I'm just going to protect Ray here. Ah, oh, this could be over before we know it. This could be a quick one. Ugh. If we get the Lele here, I think we can probably kind of carve a win out, potentially. But losing Finny is not ideal, especially when you've got there's the Ultra Burst. This, the thing is with with Ultra Necrozma, it could protect this turn because it can't Z move. Nah, it's not protecting. It's gone Earth Power. We're gonna get doubled into. Moonblast. No, you've done the right thing. Unless a berry procs here. Nah, nah we're going to lose Ray. We should have doubled. Yeah, we should have doubled into the... Um... Okay. Now we still have a Sash, but we'll get doubled into this next turn. That's why we should have went for the Lele there with Rayquaza. Ah, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And then we've got the Z move to contend with this next turn as well with the Ultra Necrozma. Hmm. Come on. Come on, DS. Load. Load, load, load. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is going to be a very quick match to kick us off today. Not the best one at all. Ah. Hmm. Okay. I think the Z move... The Z move comes into Xerneas, does it? Has my opponent gone I just double into the Rayquaza knowing that it's sashed? That would be my best bet. Well, the thing is... Let's protect Xerneas and... Let's hope they just go Moonblast into it. And then how many turns of Psychic Training have we got left? We need to be very quick, come on. Three, too many. We need to get rid of the Lele. Okay. Let's hope they don't double the Rayquaza. Let's hope they identify a big threat. There's the Moonblast. We've got to hope for the Z move into the Xerneas. Does it take us down to our Sash? Yes. And then our only hope after this is going to be Geomancy. There it is. Okay. I wouldn't have thought you would. Z move into Rayquaza. I think you'd Z move into the the um, the Xerneas. Xerneas, but behind the protect, we shouldn't take a massive amount of damage. We might be able to. Okay, that's not too bad. We'll get the Lele obviously with our Dragon Ascent. The problem is if it's if it's Mega Charizard X. And it comes, it comes in next turn, and it is gonna go for probably a flare blitz into the Xerneas. Or does the Necrozma just snipe the Rayquaza? I think you're gonna concentrate more down on the Xerneas because at this point the Xerneas is the one thing that can um, can win this game with a Geomancy. Or, or we go for a Moonblast into the Necrozma. Hope that we can take a Photon Geyser. And that might be another way for us to do it and protect Rayquaza and hope the Necrozma targets into the, the Ray. Let's do that, yeah. I'm just going to say that that is what we're going to do and I don't know if we're going to be able to kind of pull it off, but we'll see. Charizard X. Full props, my man, for bringing all the style to the match. So I'll go on the Crossman, just target into that slot. It is 
Can we get the Moonblast? It's going Tailwind. Oh my gosh, we could actually maybe pull this one back. Because the Moonblast will take down the Ultra Necrozma now. Wow, okay. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, the Calcs. The EV. Oh, oh, oh man. Uh, we need a double protect. Because the Psychic Terrain then runs out. If we can get a double protect with Rayquaza, we can, we can still do this. We can still do it. No, we don't get it. We don't get it. We get it with Zern, but it's too late. Too late. Ah, okay. Photon guys are there. Thunder Punch. Yeah, that's going to take us down there. Hmm. The Psychic Terrain does run out, though. But there's the Flare Blitz that you can just take advantage of. Um, I mean, we can try the Geomancy. I honestly thought we might be able to pull this back, but we need the Double Protect. Um, it's been a very quick game. Let's try the Geo. I don't know why we, we'd we ever get this, though. My opponent shouldn't allow us to get this. There's a Photon Geyser. Mm. Yeah, the Flare Blitz, more than enough. Tough Claws boosted. And very good game to my opponent. Uh, and a, a really unique team as well. Getting caught out by that Acel goal. Uh, yeah, they just took advantage of getting rid of the Finny with the final Gambit first turn. And without an ability to get rid of the Psychic Terrain, we can't make the most of Rayquaza. So it's something to keep note of going forward. It's a bit of a shame that we've lost that one. But some good lessons to learn with the team. And uh, it was really nice to feature John's team as well on the channel with that SL goal. Doing all the work, like I said, I don't really like facing those sort of things, but never mind. It's hard and best of one as well to kind of get around those sort of teams. They uh, they perform, I feel they perform a lot better in a best of one situation than maybe a best of three, but I think there's a lot of solidarity in that particular build um, for a best of three. So I wish them all the best going forward. Anyway, we're gonna get into our next one. We'll go straight into team preview. Because we've got a little bit of a mirror, but there's some slight differences here. We've got the Rayquaza, we've got the Xerneas, the Tapu Fini, the Incineroar. Then we've got a Moongus and Stack Attacker, um, opposed to what we've got on our side of the field with Landorus and Serena. So, whew, what do we do here? Mm. Landorus is very good for us. Obviously, that my opponent's main kind of method of kind of getting speed control, dealing with Xerneas is that stack attacker. Whether they'll lead with it or not is another thing. I think one thing I could probably do is bring Incineroar Xerneas. I do want to bring Serena here. Um, and I do probably need Tapu Fini. And if we don't bring the, the Landorus, then we kind of can't bring the Xerneas. And there's a lot, actually. The Xerneas isn't the right thing. If you look at my opponent's team, they've got so much to deal with Xerneas. It makes it very difficult to kind of get going with it. I think what we'll do is lead off with Rayquaza, Incineroar. We'll bring Finny. And we'll bring Landorus as well. Yeah, then we'll lock in. So good luck to my opponent, and uh, hopefully it's a good one. Hopefully we can kind of redeem ourselves after last that last one and uh, pull out a win in today's episode. Be perfect. All right, what are we gonna see? Requaza Incineroar for ourselves. Cezernius coming out? Yeah, Requaza Cezernius for my opponent. Hmm. I wonder what we do here. Do we just fake out the Xerneas and Sword Stance? We could potentially do that. Um, I think we have to worry about what the Rayquaza is doing, but if it does attack, we're down to our Sash. And it's got to be worried about its sash breaking as well, but maybe not. Hmm. 
maybe it's banded like a lot of the other ones that we see are banded <sighs> so will both Mega Evolve get the double Delta stream up we'll fake out into the Xerneas what we're gonna see this and we use Swords Dance what are they gonna do Where are you going? Into our, yeah, into our Rayquaza. Hmm. Is it banded? Of course it's banded. Yes, it is definitely banded. Um, okay, now the Xenia's probably protect here. I mean, one thing we could do is attack into the opposing Rayquaza and just snarl. Kind of covers the Xerneas protecting here, so their Rayquaza can deal with ours, and it cannot, it can't extreme speed. Does do we get that Rayquaza with an extreme speed plus two extreme speed? I'm just not sure if we do. Um, I'm gonna snarl and I'm gonna go into the Rayquaza. I feel like the Xerneas protects. No, but we'll get the we'll get the opposing ray. <sighs> okay, so we win a speed tie. We get a bit lucky. I'm going to snarl off into the Xerneas. It might just attack though. And if it does, then that's fine. Now it goes for the Geomancy. It's alright. And we're still plus two at the moment. Snarl does hit, that's good. That's the one thing we're kind of worried about. Like the snarl not hitting would be terrible for us, but it does hit, so that's it takes it down to okay, the stack attack is coming in. Hmm. Um, can't imagine it going trick room at this point. Um now we could bring in Tapu Fini. Because we've got the extremes here, it's going to do a lot to that Xerneas, that's the thing. Um, we could just protect and bring in Finny. Because we're going to see a Dazzling Gleam. The other thing is we could do is just stay in and extreme speed. Oh, protect. Yeah, let's protect and let's go U-turn out onto the stack attacker. The, the Xerneas could protect here. Yeah, that's what I expected. And we'll see what this stack attacker does. Oh, what's that? Red card. Huh. Well, we were going out anyway. Okay, we get the lander in. Wasn't exactly what I was wanting in, but I mean, still fine. Intimidate support's good. And there's a the rock slide. And they will be weakened even further. So yeah, doing nothing. Doing literally nothing. Um Does Landorus take a plus one? That's like gleam. I reckon we do, you know. I reckon we take a plus one dazzling gleam. So we can extreme speed. And do we just tectonic rage? The Xerneas? Mm, no, I don't think so. Because they could potentially just Moonblast the Landorus anyway. Which wouldn't be very good for us. Let's bring in Tapu Fini. <sighs> and Extreme Speed the Zern. Just try and get some damage off onto it. See how much we can damage it. just a shame that we're probably going to lose Ray here, but I mean, oh yeah, it's going for the Wide Guard as well. We probably could have went for that Tectonic Rage. Hmm, never mind. Decent, decent enough damage. There's Dazzling Gleam. Yeah. Alright. This is alright. We get, we'll get Incineroar in and we can haze away these boosts. 
Or do we want a his? Really? We we'll probably want a his. Because I just don't want to get rid of the intimidate drops on this stack attacker. That's the thing. Um. Because we could just snarl. It's just I feel like the Xerneas just protects here, doesn't it? Um. We could just scold the stack attacker. No, we just see. Yeah, that's fine. It's probably in Flare Blitz range now anyway, the Xerneas. That does a nice chunk of damage. There's a Rock Slide. Finny avoids. Which is this doing to Incinor? <sighs> we should take a plus one Moonblast, I think, from this range. Um, I'm just going to just Flare Blitz the Xerneas and just go for another Scald into the Stack Attacker. Depends what my opponent's got in their last place. Ally Switch. Okay. Ah, that's not, that's not good. We don't like that. We should have Snarled. There's the Moonblast. Where are you going? To Finny. Okay. We take it. Oh, we take it! Finny is the boss man of all boss mans. Or boss women's. Okay. So there's a scald. We get it. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. That's, uh, that's a bit unfortunate for my opponent. Very fortunate for us. We get the Flare Blitz into the stack attacker. Both Restricted's down. Now we've got Landorus in the back with a Z move, so that is super fortunate for us. Oh gosh, no, then the Finny coming in. Um, and I think what we'll do is Snarl and we will we'll just Scald the Stack Attacker. It's got Ally Switch yet, yeah, could totally go for it now. But as long as we can land the Scald onto the Stack Attacker, I mean, it's going to go down, isn't it? It goes down. And there's a the fourth bit. So, yeah, very good game to my opponent. We get very fortunate with that um, Scald onto the um, onto the Xerneas there. Uh, we had an opportunity earlier on with the Tectonic Rage where we could have definitely picked up the Knockout onto it. You know, with the Wide God coming out, we just got a little bit scared off about a potential Moonblast play and then the Rock Slide to take down the Rayquaza afterwards. So, um yeah, I think it worked out all right in the end. It would have been maybe a little bit more difficult without that Scald uh, crit, definitely. But um, good games to my opponents today. And uh, we'll wrap things up there, guys. And we'll be back tomorrow to finish up with this X-Ray team. So thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you're all well. And we'll be back for another episode tomorrow. So until then, guys, take care and bye-bye.